You know, uh, it's been about three and a half years since the last time Steve Jobs made us go, oh, wow. And that was when he does the iPad. After having done the iPhone and before that the iPod, things we did not know we wanted until he told us they were indispensable to our desires. That hasn't happened in the past three and a half years. I hope over the next year or so, Apple does it, whether it's with some wearable product or whether it's a TV or a new type of camera, whatever it may be, I want that oh wow moment. I think Apple's fully capable of doing it. You don't get better in a CEO than Tim Cook, and you're no greater industrial designer of our lifetime than Johnny Ive. So they're perfectly capable of doing it, and I'm looking forward to it. Now. You were watching when Tim Cook and the team unveiled two new iPhones, iOS 7. However, you weren't that impressed. You said oh. Cook and his co-presenters used the word incredible so frequently that if it had been the magic word in a drinking game, the launch could have knocked cold an entire fraternity. So many things were described as incredible that it began to serve as a reminder that none of them really were. Now that the phones are out, iOS 7 is out, what do you think now? I do think that what they've done in the past three and a half years is build more beautiful products. But they've taken an inch off the uh, iPad and added an inch to the iPhone and added some color. It's not been a transformative product. I think that, you know, what we're looking for now is can you do something, as Steve would say, think different, stay hungry, stay foolish. Uh, that's, that hasn't quite happened yet. So how do you think Tim Cook is doing really? I think Tim Cook is running a very good, strong organization. I do think, and I just don't know. I know you're not supposed to say that on TV. I don't know whether in the next year they'll blow us away with some amazing new product. But that's a big test for Tim Cook. And my hunch is they got to, I mean, but Eddie Q, uh, Johnny Ive, Tim Cook, you got some really great people there. My hunch is that it'll happen. Now, you've said that, that Tim Cook is doing a good job, he's very capable, but that Apple needs that spark, someone with that smart spark. Does Johnny Ive have that spark? Do they need to, 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 to open their ranks and bring in some new blood? Watching that product announcement did make me miss the unbelievable spark of Steve Jobs. But let me tell you something. That unbelievable spark of Steve Jobs that comes around, you know, once in a generation. I mean, even Bill Gates, Microsoft, none of those people had that spark. You cannot replicate. And Tim Cook is really smart. He doesn't get up every morning and say, how do I figure out what Steve would have done? How do I replicate Steve? But it is true that it makes you deeply respectful of that spark that Steve had because it is very hard to replicate. Now, on that note, Everybody asks that question. I'm sure people have asked you the question, who's the next Steve Jobs? But let's, let's think about it in a slightly different way. Is there somebody in the technology world right now that you think could someday be that person who captures the fascination, the world's fascination, the same way that Steve Jobs once did? Absolutely. Elon Musk. I watch that guy. I say, man, you know, he has the same spark. Now, who knows if it's successful? He may do products that aren't. But boy, he's got that spark. I think Larry Page has got that spark. Certainly Mark Zuckerberg does. You can go down, we're a great nation that's always producing people with uh, kind of the spunk and the spark. None will ever be like Steve Jobs, but you know, I can sit there and admire a lot of people in the technology space and say, wow, they're thinking different just like Steve did.